Book of Mormon, fact or fiction, written on shiny golden plates. Place of the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon claims to be a historical record of ancient peoples in the Americas. Date range of the Book of Mormon. 600 B.C. to about 420 A.D. for the Nephites and Lamanites, which includes most of the book, but also the Jaredites lived before 600 B.C., starting out at about 2600 B.C. at the very earliest. Book of Mormon anachronisms. Anachronism, something out of place for a given date range. The horse and chariot. The horse is mentioned 13 times in the Book of Mormon. Chariot is mentioned 7 times in association with the horse. Horses were brought to the American continent by Cortez in 1519, way after any Lamanites or Nephites. Mormon apologist explanation. What the writers of the Book of Mormon really meant by horse was taper. Here you see a picture of a taper. American Indian might have a hard time riding a taper. And a taper would have a very hard time pulling a chariot. When was the chariot introduced to America? We see that the prevailing mode of land transport in the New World was by human carrier. The wheel was unknown in pre-Columbian times. Might be pretty hard to have a chariot without a wheel. The elephant or mastodons or mammoths. Elephants are mentioned twice in the Book of Mormon. When did American elephants exist? There were early elephant-like creatures in the Americas. The only problem is they went extinct around 10,000 BC, long before any Jaredites arrived. Mormon apologist explanation. The mainstream archaeologist must be wrong. An amateur Mormon apologist must be right. Domesticated goats. Domesticated goats are mentioned three times in the Book of Mormon. The only problem is they were first brought to the Americas by Christopher Columbus in 1493, over a thousand years after the supposed Book of Mormon times. Mormon apologist explanation. The word goat refers to Native American brocket deer. More examples. Other anachronistic things in the Book of Mormon include cattle, swine, sheep, barley and wheat, silk, cement, iron and steel, metal swords, scimitars, weights and measures, compass, windows, knowledge of Hebrew and Egyptian languages, and calendars. For further information, go into Wikipedia under Archaeology in the Book of Mormon. The evidence is clear. The Book of Mormon is a work of fiction. If you want to read a great book on Mormonism, read Gerald and Sandra Tanner's Mormonism, Shadow or Reality. It will blow your mind.